after Aquarius's part two reading, things really came into perspective. Now, Pisces, I believe last week or so I did a reading for you and I titled it The Twins Against the World. And it's interesting because the lover's card, the twins, came out in Aquarius's part two reading. But the lovers doesn't always mean another person. And so I feel energetically there was a defining moment, a decision that needed to be made in within Aquarius's energy, whether it's an Aquarius I was speaking on or two about or just the energy of Aquarius. But there was a defining moment. The lover's card is about a choice. And a lot of times that choice is, is either you or, or another, you know, um, and I don't know, I have a Pisces moon. I just feel like some of you are going to honor your autonomy, Aquarius energy, and um, you may be choosing yourself. And Pisces energy is all about solitude and being alone. Um, you're just in a different world, reality, bubble. Um, you're just different, you know, like Aquarius, you're just different. And you're new here, uh, energy flows. So I'm always gonna refer to other signs because that's energy for you. It's like a domino effect. Aries influenced, starts things off and it influences, it goes down the line here. So. I don't know, Pisces, I feel like a lot of you may be choosing yourself. And if that's not the case, this is not your reading. You may need to watch maybe Aquarius's reading to kind of get um, a deeper understanding as to why this would not be your reading. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. There is this geese right here who's limping and it breaks my heart. But that to me is symbolic for like wounded energy. But that was coming out in Aquarius reading as well. Your extended will be available on YouTube members. The link is in the description box below. But let's see, messages for Pisces. We have the eight of pentacles here the weaver some of you may be noticing a lot of spiders their spider webs are very intricate large even um i'm getting spiders from this but um this is also the fate the fates will of fortune energy as well and then you see how she's alone working alone and again if you watch the aquarius's reading specifically the part two version on youtube members You'll understand a little bit more um, as to why this is very significant here. But she's at peace, she's focused, she's doing her thing. This is a creative type of energy. All right, that energy was coming from Aquarius. Aquarius's opposite is Leo. So Aquariuses are naturally very, very um, artistic and gifted in whatever way. Um, and of course, you are as well. You're, I always say that Aquarius energy is the creator and then you are the creation. So that's why Pisces, you guys are very beautiful and you just are who you are. I can go, I can go very deep and very long just explaining Pisces energy. I have a Pisces moon, so I certainly understand it. Um, but you, you're just beautiful. Your energy is beautiful. It's otherworldly. That's why that comes out, right? Aquarius is otherworldly as well. Um, and again, Aquarius energy is the creator and you are the creation. So... I say all this to say, I feel like a lot of you guys are in this energy of, uh, you know, kind of getting ready for Aries energy. Like it's, you are taking on Ace of Wands energy, Ace of Pentacles. You, it's, uh, I don't know why I wanted to say that. <laughs> You're grabbing the balls by the, the horns or something like that. You're grabbing your balls by the bootstrap. Okay. Like, <laughs> yo, stop. I'm trying to focus. 
it's a serious matter here. I don't really feel like you guys are in a space, Knight of Pentacles, with the Knight of Swords, where you are talking, wanting to talk. Um, or this is the very thing that you are working on or trying to get over or heal, okay? Move on from that Knight of Swords was coming out in Aquarius' reading with the Ten of Wands. So it's just kind of like you dealing, you were dealing with people, communicating with people, whatever the case is, giving your energy to people and... All it was bringing it to you was Ten of Wands, burdens, hardship, challenges, difficulties, heaviness, all right? You were taking on the weight of everyone else's BS and baggage and bullshit, all right? And, you know, I just feel like a lot of you are done with that process. The Knight of Pentacles upright is about processes, um, you know, and those things, processes take time, right? You're not, I don't feel like you guys are going through that process or that, that, that energy, okay, anymore. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords. So you see what I'm saying? That Knight of Swords, here we have the Eight of Swords. So it's like you're working on or trying to get over or trying to heal or this is you creating from that pain, that those burdens and this, that, and the third. Like it's, it's, to me, this is kind of like getting energy out, um, it's not necessarily, I don't really, it's a love message, but it's not about you. new love coming in. This is more so about you healing from love that came in, okay? People that you allowed in, people that you communicated with. Some of you may even be blocking people at this time. Uh, some of you may be sending out those messages like, you know, you're saying your, your, your farewells and your goodbyes and your toodaloos. All right, this is the vibe. This is you removing the burdens here. A lot of you may have been um, physically picking up on heaviness in your body. And you may be noticing the more people that you cut off or the things that you let go of or you are no longer thinking about, you may notice that your body, the pain in your body or heaviness in your heart or whatever, your chest, whatever the case is, this is releasing, like you're not in pain anymore. Okay, you may be noticing that things that you have done to cope with the pain that you may have been aware of or not aware of, but you were still doing certain things to cope with something. All right, you may be noticing that you're getting rid of that or releasing that as well a day at a time. It's a day at a time. That's what I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles. It's a day at a time. But regardless, this Eight of Pentacles with this Eight of Swords, there's only there's a there's two girls here, but they're one of the same, right? There's only there's only these people are alone. They're alone. And with the Eight of Swords, you see those ribbons here? Those ribbons you usually will see in like spell work or whatever the case is. These are binding ribbons here. As you can see, that's why she's bounded. Okay, she's binded. She's bounded. Her body is. So this is the body, your physical body. Some of you may have Pisces in the first house. Okay, or maybe Aries in the 12th house. Somewhere out there. And then these birds, these crows. Can't tell if they're pulling on tighter or trying to release her. But crows are messengers. Uh, they're messengers of death. And with death comes rebirth, new beginnings, endings, completion. But crows, messengers, these are this is also spirituality here as well. And then the swords. You see those swords? Well, I just got done doing Aquarius, and Aquarius is Aquarius energy rules the psyche. And the psyche is, is responsible for the behaviors um, and mindsets and uh, uh, the things that people do and their subconscious that they're not aware of, but you are, maybe. So this for me is indicating, uh, Pisces, that your, your subconscious, your psyche is undergoing some type of death. Um, and some of you may have already under or experienced a rebirth at this time or you're allowing it. Some of you may have been fighting it like I was picking up in. And Aquarius is reading, but basically all of the love messages, it's just you've just been fighting it here. This is what's being worked out at this time. And the fact that this is the Eight of Swords, right? Mentally, the psyche, the mental, and then the Eight of Pentacles, what's going on physically. This again is just indicating that whatever was going on mentally was coming out physically, whether for the good or the bad. Some of you are turning this energy around, death, rebirth energy. What was bad that you were manifesting physically, you're now working on it to get rid of it, okay? This is also like an energy of turning your pain into power. 
Uh, this is also an energy of turning your pain um, into some type of creative art. Again, you are the creation of what has been created. We have the King of Wands coming out, Leo energy. And Leo's reading was about, uh, they did you dirty as hell. Basically, the whole reading, I was digging in someone's ass because I'm like, yo, this person is the problem. They are truly the problem. But going back to Aquarius's reading, which is uh, uh, Leo's opposite, yeah, these people, this person is the problem, but you also were and are the problem as well. So there's somebody in your mind right now. There may be some some type of residual energy still lingering. A person that is it's kind of one of them vibes. Um, especially if you guys have 12th house place, and this is about loss. So there may be a, a person literally where you are, you know, trying to work out in your mind or trying to get over, or this is like some type of residual energy, or this is some like this, it's kind of like the last straw kind of energy like this is the last person that's ever gonna x y and z like ever hurt you or put you in this position or the last person you're gonna allow into your life okay ever i don't know you know that may seem extreme for a lot of you because whatever um so take it as you may yep we have the two of wands here And then we have the full Aries energy. Like I said, it's like you guys are getting ready for Aries energy, a new beginning, a new start, um, just just a new vibe. You're freeing yourself. You're releasing yourself. This is two different energies, eight of swords and then the fool. She's bound, trapped, and then here she's free as fuck. And then you see them butterflies, which is Scorpio energy, that death and rebirth. It's the same thing that these crows, I feel like, are trying to tell you, trying to tell this person that it's time for you to let go. It's it's truly time for you to let go. That's what the 12th house Pisces energy is about. It's about sacrifices and losses. All of which are equivalent to letting go. A loss because you, it's getting let go whether you chose it to let go or uh, it's been forced for you to let go of, but that's what the 12th house or Pisces energy is about. Loss. Sacrifice. It's like these crows are instructing you to let go of this person. The two of wands is about action. It's about execution. This is about following through. There's also a dragon here, which is also the dragon spit fire, right? This is literally death by fire. And it's interesting that we have a fire sign here, Leo energy. So I'm definitely getting an energy where Capricorn had lessons learned. Um, and I just feel like your energy, you, you learned what you needed to learn. Your, your Saturn rules of uh, Capricorn and Capricorn is, um, you know, or sad, Saturn is about consequences. It's not about necessarily hardship right it's it's hardship because that's your consequence for not learning the lesson so ultimately when you are you know you're being reprimanded or you're going through consequences it's because of your actions so we can't sit there and blame saturn a capricorn or anybody else for whatever it is that you're going through that's that's you that's you taking accountability like okay i made this choice decision i did something and clearly what I did was wrong and it, it resulted in me having to deal with Saturn, me having to deal with consequences, hardships, delays, a loss, a sacrifice because of you. And so nobody can do anything to you unless you let them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not coming at any of you guys as next. I have a Pisces moon. I'm, I'm very sensitive to Pisces. Um, people, individuals, anyone that has those placements. I love you guys. So this is not me coming at you, but coming after Aquarius's reading where I was really digging into some psychology for real, like digging in there. For anybody to heal and to move on truly, gracefully and genuinely, you have to take accountability. You have to look at yourself. 
And so if you feel like you're being attacked at this time, you have work to do because that is not what I'm doing. I am not attacking any of you. Um, I'm not coming at any of you, uh, but this is just the truth. A lot of people are in this eight of swords because they don't want to admit to what they have done to of wands, to who they allowed in their life, king of wands, to interrupt them, eight of pentacles energy. It's uh, one of those vibes where, you know, people can sense when you, you, we hear the quotes and the cliches, people can, your exes can sense when you're moving on. They can, they can feel and sense when you, you know, there's someone new in your life or you don't want them anymore. Um, you know, every time that you're on the brink of greatness or you're focused, eight of pentacles energy, something, someone comes along and uh, ultimately you end up getting distracted, Pisces. You end up going in a different direction you have no business going in. You end up trusting somebody you had no business trusting and then you ultimately become lost and then you start having to cope with the loss and then you have to get over it, try to heal. Then you get confused and then you attract more people who come in and perpetuate that same confusion and the cycle continues. The, the, the flow, the current continues and it gets stronger each time. It grips you up. Your own energy is now be using is, is now being used against you. There are so many times where I was literally focused, Eight of Pentacles energy, focused. I'm literally on the brink of breakthrough. I'm doing my thing. I'm growing. I'm evolving. I'm doing my goddamn thing. And somebody's knucklehead son comes into my life and just obliterates everything. And now I'm drowning in the very ocean that, you know, I'm supposed to be swimming in. How are you drowning your own element? How does your unconditional love, back to Cancer's energy, how does unconditional love turn into hate? How does your happiness turn into depression? How does your passion turn into burnout? and disinterest that's your energy being used against you because someone that you allowed into your life and i just feel like at this very moment a lot of you are letting that go letting this person go letting the the whole dynamic around relationships the the whole relationship scene you may be letting it go it just depends everybody's on different spectrums here uh but that is what i'm getting Somebody saw you, people are seeing you. They don't see you any other time. But they see you when you are focused and doing your own thing and you're thriving and you're growing and you're at peace. Temperance energy, eight of pentacles energy, when you are at peace. And what do they come and do? They come to steal, kill, and destroy. It doesn't matter how good they look because I promise you the king of wands, whether this is a woman or a man, they look good as fuck. They look good, they sound good, that dick may feel good, that pussy may feel good, whatever the case is. Their money may be good, their status, their promises, whatever may be all good, all good. But your own energy, illusions, confusion is now being used against you. And illusion and confusion is not that for you. It's really fantasy, creativity, imagination, but ultimately intuition, all of these things flip to a pentacles energy because you allow people in your life who turn your own energy against you now you're being deceived now you're confused now there is an illusion when your energy was really supposed to be for creating imagination uh uh, uh hope even uh intuition all of these other things it now has been turned against you because you allowed other people into your life to confuse you to drown you you are otherworldly and yet you allow people who are worldly <laughs> to make you forget who and what you are it's like it's funny because pisces the pisces i've known they can't swim 
but this is like an energy of you knowing how to swim breaststroke backstroke any stroke right and you come across these people places and things that have out of nowhere you don't know how to you don't know how to swim anymore whereas before you knew how to swim what happened why you why can't you swim anymore what happened These people make you forget who and what what you are. They they disturb your peace. They take your strength and they put you in a nine of wands energy. They put you in this energy and imagine a tower coming in. You don't have the strength to overcome this tower. So what happened? You end up dying. You end up drowning in the very ocean that you you're supposed to be swimming in. And now you're in Nine of Swords energy. And then you're alone. You're, you're ultimately alone anyway. Your energy is supposed to be alone. But now you're dying and you're alone. <laughs> it's not funny. It's just amazing how these cards are coming out. Virgo energy with the Hermit try to come through. And um, it's interesting because Virgo's reading was expect them to get defensive when you tell the truth. Well, if you look at this, you're telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Expect them to get defensive when you tell the truth. Here's the Ace of Swords. Ain't nothing more truth telling than the Ace of Swords. So how is this? The Virgo card's coming out. I did Virgo days ago. And I said, expect them to get defensive when you tell the truth. That was the title of the reading. And here we have the Ace of Swords with Virgo energy. When you tell these people that they have disturbed your peace, they have taken something from you. They have used you, whatever it is. They have come in and they killed, steal, and destroyed your energy. When you come and tell them that, they get defensive. And make you question yourself, which is, again, they cast an illusion. They use your own energy against you. They gaslight you. 